Why, why, why? So, like, uh, there, like, uh, is like a certain topic that I would like to talk of, talk about that the media is uh, definitely ignoring. It's not Black Lives Matter. It's children's, children, children. Why? So if like they like the media is only like focusing on like like black people who are like victims, or maybe like you know like a white on black crime or police on black crime, and they'll like uh they whoever the victim. That person, that victim is like they'll they'll praise that person as like a god or like an idol, and such. But uh, this only the funny thing is this only applies to the only apply to a who are people who are above uh, nineteen years of age. Who are, meaning they are adults, young adults. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about like young adults, but adults. Like who are people who are in the, like uh, who just uh, like from went went from nineteen to twenty and uh, so people like George Floyd, adult black black male adult, Ahmed Arbery, black male, and he's an adult. Breonna Taylor, black female. Adult. Okay, so so these people uh, have been often uh, either uh, they were like they were like I did something bad they like, they were involved in something so or they like they were on drug they died because of drugs or they like they were like in possession of drugs or meaning Breonna Taylor and uh, the, the, the latest one Jacob Blake min, min. yeah he's there so yeah he had a he had a knife in his hand. Okay, who has who goes around walks around with a knife in his hand? Nobody. And yeah, even as uh, though his uh, uh, spouse spouse told him to stop, and his kids were watching. And yeah. And yet, out of the every other black victim who is preserved, who is like idolized by Black Lives Matter, he, J- Jacob Blake is the only one who is still alive. He is just paralyzed from the waist down, so he can't sexually assault anybody. As mentioned, but there have been uh, people like uh, I'm uh, quite very uh, con- concerned about uh, that. The media is like very uh, ignoring, and uh, people who have been victim, and these are like basically anyone from any from uh, from who ages from a toddler to like a teenager. So, uh, Canadian uh, Toronto Toronto uh, hip hop uh, uh, artist uh, Drake has uh, mentioned in uh, in uh, when he, when he was featuring on the song uh, with the Snoop by Snoop, Snoop Lion aside with uh, Corey Corey B. No guns allowed, and he was like very the shine and Josh. He mentions uh, Shine and Josh, which which was like a, like a who to the t. Teenagers uh, who are like uh, 
who are like in a this was in, I think they were in the Scarborough area of uh, Toronto where where they were like a they were at just like a community like a meetup or something and then some people like they got got guns out and they they shot at these at the, these people and uh, Shine and Josh uh, died. And uh, Brampton uh, hip hopper uh, Tory Lanez has mentioned that this, uh, this one this happened just uh, last year. I'm rap Dimaggio uh, Hernandez Hernandez I think his last name was yeah. So he's uh, his rapper name was uh, Houdini and uh, as soon as he so he was a homicide victim in uh, in Toronto somewhere and as soon as uh. So I guess uh, Tory Lanez uh, knew the guy. So as soon as he heard of uh, his uh, homicide death, so he went on the uh, social media all uh, sad. And I did, I mentioned a bit on the video uh, about like Houdini getting a uh, about the home, Houdini uh, ho homicide incident and um, last year and then people were protesting and then uh, in the Jane and Wilson area and then there were like a whole, a whole gangster gangster in, in Toronto uh, who just came off alongside 401 along 400 uh, Black Creek Drive exit and started shooting at the protesters yeah I'm assuming that the who, the uh, hip hop, uh, hip hop uh, Houdini was uh was not uh white. He was probably most likely black. <laughs> by uh, just just by his photo. And yeah. But adult. So yeah. I mentioned, I think this was a month, about, at least a month ago now. If these two names don't ring a bell, I did make a, did a, make a, made a video on these people. Sicoria Turner of Chicago. Devon McNeil of Washington, D.C. Sicoria Turner was killed by Black Lives Matter protest protesters trying to like force uh, force uh, Sicoria's mom to really go in a, turn in another direction instead of uh, letting her go home. And, uh, and the one of the protesters got a gun out and shot Sicoria, shot 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 the vehicle and the, the bullet went to the vehicle and shot Sicoria dead. She wasn't even. She wasn't, didn't even make it to the teenager. She was like a. She was just a young kid. One and a few days after, Devon McNeil. So I got it, some information. So, so Sicoria Turner was eight years eight years old. So she was uh, with her mom's uh, mom, and her uh, mom's friend uh, was in the passenger seat, most likely. And her dad, as soon as he heard, as soon as the car, his mom uh, drove home, with her daughter dead. So he was furious that. Black Lives Matter, which is a group which is was supposed to support black lives, as it as it clearly states, that they killed some someone of their own kind, especially a kid. 
So that's me. So Devon McNeil, on the other hand, uh, he this was reported by De, Devon McNeil's uh, grandfather, who was a who was a well-respected uh, black, black man in the neighborhood in uh, the Washington D.C. area. So Devon McNeil, he was he. He just ran to go get his uh, phone charger and uh, and then go to a community cookout in the area. And then five, five men just jumped out and most and these were people were gangsters. And yeah, they shot him. They shot him like the. A couple of other like uh, maybe there were, there were a couple of adults and probably most likely in the area, they were shot dead. But Devon McNeil he he was he shot got shot dead and he was eleven. Didn't even make it to a teenager. Now I know like the black Black Lives Matter and defund the police are like a common things people are saying. But if you're trying to defund the police and you expect, I've said this before, if you expect, if you are trying to defund the police and you're trying to expect them to come to you when you're like, maybe you're getting robbed or maybe you're like someone at you like at gun, gun point or maybe like someone shot someone you love dead. Or maybe like you call, call, found, found someone who like do, doing something wrong, like committed a crime. Ah, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. The only time two wrongs make a right is in math. Like you know, negative two min minus negative four equals two. Positive two. And let's uh, zoom into last week. Okay. This is now we're going to focus on the white people. Five year old. Okay, this is the, like someone who who didn't even make it to the young, young kid part. And so, Cannon Hennant. Why uh, so okay so I think we're actually glad that we're like the the, the police actually got got that person who uh Darius uh, Sesams uh twenty black man neighbor neighbor to Austin Hennant and his wife. Was, and uh, like, and two daughters. So, uh, it's still we still don't understand what what caused uh, Darius, the black man Darius Sethams to shoot. It still hasn't ex there have hasn't been a proper explanation, but there has been like, a, but Darius Sethams has been uh, charged with uh, drug possession and such. No. So, so if the so black man and a white man have been lived on the same street for quite a, many several years, so okay, they know each other, they're neighbors, and uh, so this is the shooting happened like right on the like a Sunday and on Friday, uh, Darius Sethams went over to Austin Hennon's house. For for dinner, like casual neighbors. 
So Darius Sessions most like most likely knows Austin Hennant's two daughters and Cannon Hennant, Austin's son. So he knows it's three kids. Austin's three kids. But is it because he maybe he was on drugs or something? So what the media is complaining about is uh so as soon as the uh, so the say uh, say his name say her say her name uh, and uh, hashtag and uh, all right rest in peace to Corey Turner and rest in peace to Devon McNeil and rest in peace can well you know that those hashtags were active for at least up to two weeks and then it all disappeared. Why? And then Cannon Hinnon, no one seemed to give a damn. Damn. Because <clears throat> as a black black female YouTuber has had has, has said and a female and one female white female YouTuber has said and the reliable news source has said and Fox News has said why aren't people like talking talking about like what the shooting about Cannon Hinnon? It's like the shooting happened and then I checked and the guy was like the reporter was like I checked and on social media social media and there's nothing nothing about his death. And you know, it's kinda weird that people it's suddenly suddenly dis disappeared in just a few days. So as the black you know, as the news as the female YouTubers and the news sources have clarified, it's because it's because of a Cannon Hannon, yeah, because he he is white. So uh, if he w if he was black, then it would have it would have been like spreading like wildfire on social media, and people would be protesting. Wait 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 hold up hold up wait a minute. When the strain okay what I don't get is the media. Almond Arbery got shot guided by Travis and uh, Travis and also in uh that about the Mike Mac McMichael family the, his father and son. Two people are gonna go like going all violent and like ransacking and ra ra rioting, rioting. Same thing happened with oh George Floyd got shot. He got shot by a like, he got like Strangled by the knee, but with a by a cop, and oh, and all the police are bad, and that's what. And the same thing happened again. Brianna Taylor, they say, oh, she was protesting. Same thing happens again. What about Sequoia Turner? What about Devon McNeil? They don't need. Do they? The world does the world even care about a five-year-old who just got shot in the head by a by, by the by a black man who could have been on drugs? Why? I don't know when the when the like. I'm really getting emotional about like kids, kids like, 
and not being danger. Like I don't care like what race uh, these kids are. The the kids don't see race. They just see people that oh that's that's the that man is that man or woman is friends with my family. Ah uh, yeah, they, my parents know them, and and they also so they, there could be like a. The white, white, white kid who's friends with the black kid and the Asian kid and the Mexican kid and the Latino kid and then like European kid. And an African kid. And they would see like, they wouldn't just like see, oh, you're, so they wouldn't like, these kids, so kids don't see race. So they just see these people. Oh, we have the same traits. We like the same stuff. We have the same hobbies. Like oh, we like the same sports. You know, it's like it's like that. We got the same stuff. Maybe like you know, same subjects. And maybe you're if you're like maybe you're like you met someone from a different culture. They would ask these kids. These kids would actually ask. Oh, what, what, what kind of like uh, foods do you like? Uh, what, what, what kind of holidays do you celebrate? And they would actually want to know about the culture instead of uh, hating on the culture. So you don't like, uh, it's not about the history about the kind of what the country they, that these kids, like these, these parents came from and uh, that, the ki- that, that they had uh, these kids that the uh, um, that the kid is friends with. So it's all like a, like oh, I want to know more about you, and oh, you and uh, and it goes vice versa, and they want to hang out and just party and you know, go places together and support each other when they. Things go down, but when social media comes in, and when pin parents inflict all this race issues on like uh, their children, these children will think, "Oh, the, the black black kids gonna think, oh, white kid bad, call it police bad, they're gonna shoot me bad." And and the, the, everyone else is going to look at Asians and say, "Oh, coronavirus," or they'll say the racist. I can't I can't say the racist word. Uh, it's very in, insulting the Chinese and Koreans. Or they'll like you know all keep on making fun of uh, basically anyone uh, who they're from Eastern Asia. They'll uh, purposely think they're Chinese or Japanese. I've been not. I've been through that. And uh, since uh, my uh, my cousins on my mom's side of the family, two of them, two cousins got married. Two of my cousins got married. And uh, um, so I'm officially an un- uncle to an. Uh, <laughs> A niece, a niece and a nephew. So, well, and uh, because yeah. So I don't want like uh, kids who just uh, just got bored, just got born, and uh, from uh, and their parents, and they're like you know, they're young kids. Maybe they're like five. Like five, six, or seven, and they're just. The one I would just like want them to focus on is make as many friends as you want. You learn about their culture, appreciate them. Don't make fun of them. And be there for each other when uh, t- things go down tough.
So like uh, kids will like obviously like no like no oh, there's that skin there have they have like a test like a darker skin tone than me or like they're like they don't have the same same skin color as me but you know it's like what kid what parents actually need to teach kids is treat that person like they want like you want to be treated by them and yeah and i think it's uh, about time that the media actually started focusing on uh, death of children because I know the Turner family is a uh, and a McNeil family and a Hinnant family are all mourning right now just because son, sons or daughters died so yeah And some people have said, okay, so like, why, why are we idolizing these adults uh, who have uh, who've done thing, bad things or are doing bad things? Oh, these ch children, they're innocent. They didn't commit a crime. So, you know. So when we die, over old age or like may, maybe a diagnosis or cancer or whatever it is that kills that we die of so our children are like the future and we need to like have make sure they learn learn as much as they can and not make the same mistakes that the that like my past people have uh, done You get me? So, use use the hashtags, rest in peace, Sikor, Sikoria Turner, rest in peace, Devon McNeil, rest in peace, Cannon Hinnant. And uh, post, make a post about it. On on whatever like social media accounts, I don't care Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Do what you gotta do. Spread the word. Children's lives matter. I'm tired of quoting Black Lives Matter because people are forgetting about the children. It's only because it's basically looking like Black Lives Matter, more like Black Lives Black Adults Lives Matter. Really? Huh? And this is now this goes out to the black folk black folks who, who don't have a kid right now, but there are maybe your wife is pregnant. Make sure your kids have a. Make make lot lots of friends, and if you, and if you are a parent, you know, parents to like a uh, kid, uh, kids kids uh, who uh, didn't uh, even make to adult make make or teens who didn't even make it to adulthood yet, make sure they may live the greatest lives and don't make don't put race on them. Tell them to make as many friends as what they want. <laughs> They want and like you know learn about other people's culture and not make 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 the same mistakes previous historians have made. So this is for Sicoria Turner. This is for Devon McNeil. This is for Cannon Hinnant and all the children out there who have died in 2020. 
that no one give the, give the damn about, but we will give a care about. Give them a shout out and uh, bless bless their families. <laughs>